Hi, welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly, and this is absolutely silly, but I just wanted to show you all the goodies that I got at my local Goodwill. I got some stuff from the Free Shack at my dump. I went to Hobby Lobby and picked up only a couple things. I don't know what is wrong with me, but I didn't pick much up there. But I wanted to show you what I got. But first I wanted to show you a couple of my DIYs that I did. And then I'll explain why I'm on the floor. And I don't know if I can get back up once um, now that I'm down here. I just don't know. <laughs> So let's get to the primitive decor DIYs. This project is gonna be quick and simple. I have this half round uh, small barrel that I got years and years ago, and I got it to put my dog food in for my dog, and our dog passed away last spring, and we don't plan on getting another one for a while, and I stopped using this anyway. So I had these little feet that I got from a chair that we recently got rid of, and I saved the feet because I knew I could use them for something. And I decided I wanted to put these on the bottom of this barrel to bring it up off the floor a little bit and use it as decor. I think I'm going to put it in my booth, but I may keep it around for a little while in the house just to have, you know, just to use for some florals and stuff that I have. And I think it'll look really nice. So I'm just taking my... Uh, my, dr my drill and I'm drilling a hole a little bit smaller than the screw that's in the bottom of that or in the top of that uh, foot that I have or leg and I'm going to just just screw that into the bottom of the barrel and now I have two others I actually had four but I think all I need is three for this little barrel so I'm going to do one in the front and then two in the back doing the same uh, process by just drilling a little bit of a smaller hole in there and then screwing those little feet in. So I thought this just may give you an idea of something that you could do with a small cabinet or something similar that and you had some legs you could pop them on and raise it up and it just gives it a new look. I found this frame, picture frame, down in my stash and I decided I wanted to do something with it and I had a piece of decoupage paper that, uh, that I had left over and I wanted to use that. I had an idea of something to do with it. So I wanted to put the two together. So I just uh, took off my sale sticker. I don't know if I paid that or not. I have no idea where this came from. I don't know if I paid for it, I got it for free, uh, but I know uh, that I wanted to redo it over. And here I'm showing you the decoupage paper I'm gonna use. It's just a piece from a bigger piece. And I wanna say it's from Roy Cycle paper. And if I can find a link to the whole thing, I'll put it down in the description, but I'm not sure if I can, but we'll try, I'll try. I'll try to stick it down in there. Uh, so I'm just taking it apart and uh, showing you the cardboard there. It's been kind of in that frame for quite a while, it looks like. It's got a little bit of discoloration, and it looks like it may have been in the sun for a while or something. It looks very faded. So I'm going to set those aside for right now. They both will be, need to be painted, but I first want to make a clay mold of the a uh, couple of the bird song birds that I have here. This is uh, the IOD mold of all different kinds of birds flying and sitting, and it's a really beautiful mold. And I wanted to, at, at this point, I was only going to do one bird, and then I did decide to make another one down the road. Uh, but I 
I'm showing you that I'm adding my cornstarch to my mold. It makes the clay come out a lot easier. Now I'm using this air dry clay. I think this is probably from Walmart. I really like the DAS mold uh, clay uh, air dry clay that I get but I didn't have any and so I got this at Walmart recently and I'm not super thrilled with it it's kind of dry and I have had it open for a few days because I used it for something else but um, it shouldn't be this dry so it was a little bit hard to work with not terrible uh, but I do like the DAS uh, clay stuff better but anyway, I'm making a mold of one of the birds up in the corner that's kind of flying. And I'm going to add that to my decoupage paper when I get it all installed onto my picture frame. So uh, the first thing is, so I just wanted to get that done and drying off to the side. So it had a nice uh, skin on it. So when I went to paint it, that it wouldn't mush up any of the... Uh, details that were in it. So I wanted to get that done first. So now uh, that I've done that, I can turn my attention to the cardboard that goes inside of the picture frame. And I'm going to give that two coats of my off-white paint. It's This is repurposed paint, it's called. And it, I usually, or I shouldn't say I usually, I bought this one can from Tractor Supply to try it out. And I don't mind it at all. The it I do need to do two or three coats with this, but it is a light-colored paint. And I am trying to usually paint over something dark. So uh, typically any kind of paint like that, it's kind of hard to cover. But I did two coats of that paint on the back of this board just so I would have a nice, clean, uh, clear place to add my decoupage paper. And I added some Mod Podge to the middle and I started there so that I would know where my paper was going to lay. And then I slowly did section by section, adding a little bit of decoupage um, or Mod Podge and then laying that down uh, and just doing section by section. After getting all the wrinkles out of it the best that I could, I went through and just used my scissors to take off any excess that was around the edges. A lot of times I use sandpaper, but I didn't this time. I was able to just cut it off. It's nice straight edge, so it was pretty easy to do. Uh, and then once it was pretty well dry, I went back and sealed it with the Mod Podge. Just put a top coat over the top of that. So that will all be sealed down and it won't move. Now I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to work on the frame itself. So it was pretty dirty, dusty and yucky. So I decided to give it a good clean. And then I went through with my sandpaper and just scuffed up the stain that was on it, it was very shiny and I wanted the paint to stick really well. So I gave it a little scuff up with some sandpaper. Now I've taken it outside after I wiped it down and I'm going to give it a coat of black paint. It's not going to be a full coverage. This is just going to be um, just a quick spray because I am going to be using, as you can see here, my Vaseline technique where it's a resist. So anything anywhere that I put that Vaseline any paint that I put over the top of this black and the Vaseline it's going to resist it and the black will show through so I wanted this to look distressed and heavily distressed with a lot of black coming through didn't quite work out the way I intended this is kind of where everything went off the rails for me with this project um I ended up almost in tears at the end of this, believe it or not. Uh, I finally, after several hours of messing around with this thing, I did get it to where I wanted it at the end, but then I'll explain more after that um, as I get closer to the end. But I did two coats on this, so you can see what it looks like when you paint over that Vaseline. Uh, it This is the first coat, 
and you can just see that it's resisting and it doesn't like the paint going over it. And in between each coat, I use my heat gun and you want to be careful with that because it does melt the Vaseline pretty quickly and it spreads it. So if you don't want it to be that distressed or look that distressed, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. Um, just let it dry on its own. So, uh, I've done the two coats and this is what it looks like and you can see where it's been uh, resisting the paint and then I just take a rag and I'm going to wipe it back and get rid of all the paint that the, the off-white paint that I don't want on it and bring back as much of the black as possible. Once I had it all done, I took some antique wax and I'm going to go over it and give it a more aged look. Uh, I like how that looks against the light color of the off-white. So I decided to do that and I really liked the way the frame looked a lot. I really liked the frame. And I think in another, uh, maybe a different darker colored um, decoupage paper or picture, it would be just perfect and I really love the distressing on it. It didn't quite work with what I was looking for uh, with this decoupage paper that I was using. It's definitely a lighter paper so having a lighter frame for me it didn't work out very well so I really didn't like it uh, together. I mean I loved the paper on its own and I loved the frame on its own but I did not like them together as you can see here. I feel like it just didn't match up and I was just not happy with it. So I tried to uh, sand a little bit on my frame and bring back more black paint. And then when that didn't work, I went over it with just a dry brush and gave it some dark dry brush, just, just a little. I didn't want, um, you know, anything too crazy. I, I like to start out just with a little bit of paint and then I'll get darker if I need it. So I put it on and then I kind of mushed it in, wiped it back. And here you can see what happened. Um, I didn't like it. So I just went and sprayed the whole thing with black. So it is now a black frame. It's not completely covered. You can still see a little bit of the off-white through it. Uh, it still looks distressed. I took the antique wax and I went over that and gave it a seal with that because I like how that dark antique wax looks over the black. So that's what happened with that. And I was, I was happy. I was, things were going well. I thought it looked really good. And here I am painting my, uh, my little birds and I got those in and look how beautiful that looks. I really love how that pops. Now I put the, I glued the birds on and then I looked at it and I said, you know what? I want to use this new, uh, uh, stamp that I got from IOD and, I so I grabbed that. I got this for myself for Christmas and I cut off the one that I wanted uh with the backing on it and I decided to use that as a uh you know a more distressing on the decoupage paper. So this is just like a crackle type finish. So I just took some black paint and put it on there and then I stamped it off onto my paper so it wasn't super dark. I just wanted it a light just a light, uh, like an aged crackle on there. I don't need every little spot to show. And um, that's just how I'm going to uh, do it is just stamp it off and then put it on the paper and you get a lighter stamp with it. I really love how just a little bit of these lines that go on there, it looks so good, I think, and so aged. I really love how this came out. Um, I was really happy with this, and I was just ready to be done with it and just wanted to clear it, clear spray it, and I took it out to do that, and I ended up grabbing my black spray paint instead of my clear sealer. So this is what happened. I sprayed it and it got black spray all over it before I could just stop. I, I just noticed it was raining and I went out real quick to do it and wanted to bring it right back in to dry and that's what happened. So um, I am almost cried because this is not how I wanted it to be. 
but I'm going to make it this my happy little accident and like it. I tried getting it off with a little bit of sandpaper and uh, it did come off somewhat, but uh, it's very black and distressed, but I'm going to love it. Um, I, I think I like it uh, now and I hope you do too. So as you can see, I found some stuff at Goodwill. These are um, a few things that I picked up recently. I just went there the other day because I had an emergency trip that I need to go to Hobby Lobby and get a jug of Mod Podge because I grubby candles and I have them on my Etsy website, which is down in the description if you're interested. And I ordered some off Amazon and it kept, I don't, I think it was back ordered. It just kept sitting there and sitting there. And I was like, I need this Mod Podge. And so when I went to town that was near me, I checked every store that I knew that had it. And they only had the gloss, which I don't use gloss, I use the matte. And I could have emergency done that, but I knew that Hobby Lobby was having a sale. <laughs> And I also knew that Goodwill was just across the street. So, you know, I mean, an emergency and as long as I can get my Mod Podge, you know, treat myself to a little bit of Goodwill shopping. So anyway, let's get started and I'll show you what I picked up. So first of all, these bunches of sunflowers. I know that fall is quite a ways away. We just got into winter, but these are beautiful bunches of sunflowers and I can store these away until fall or until summer and we can start uh, putting them in when it gets close to time. I had to get these. These are beautiful. These were, unfortunately, they're four dollars a piece. That's the only problem. But really there's nothing wrong with them. They're absolutely beautiful and definitely worth the four dollars and I think I can get a little bit more for that. Um, but I wanted to have them. I like to have a lot of greenery and color in my booth because I use a lot of uh, blacks, greens, burgundies, grays, you know, darker colors. So I like to have pops of color and everything. It just makes everything just pop right out to you when you're walking by my booth and it makes you want to stop and hopefully it feels warm and homey in there. And I think all these flowers do that. So... So those were $4 a piece. I got this greenery. These were all two a piece. And they're the foamy feeling ones. Um, and I've had these before and I really like them. I'm not really sure that I like the little um, flowers that are on them, but I can always cut those off and just have the green, which I really like. So I've got um, four, five. I got five of them. And I got stuff that's way far away. I don't know how I'm going to reach it because I'm on the floor and it's not going to be pretty when I go to get up. But anyway, so I got five of these greenery things. These were $2 a piece. Yeah, $2 a piece. They still have tags on them. Uh, not the prettiest. They need to be fluffed. They need to be trimmed up with, um, you know, like I said, the some of the flowers look like they're, there's no flowers there. It's just like the... The middle of it so um, I'm going to have to fix those up but I think those will be great and my booth in the spring which I'm going to start popping into my booth uh, now and flipping things over to springtime okay I also got this from Goodwill this is a this was how much was this guy six dollars gosh but this is a stand for your iPad, um, for your phone, but I thought it was really cute. I, I bought one of these similar uh, not too long ago and put it in my booth and it sold right away. Um, $6 is a little high, but everything at Goodwill right now is like a crazy expensive. So, um, it, you know, I had to be pretty picky choosy what I chose. And I knew that this would sell because I had one and it sold pretty quick. And it's very nice. So I think it's going to work out pretty well. So I got that. I got this barn. This cute little barn. This was only $2. 
And I figured this would be great. I could put a bottom on it and then decorate, you know, that will fit it and then decorate with a candle or some greenery or something. Or I could just sell it like this and somebody could use it for their own uh, decorations, whatever they want. But it's got a little metal roof and I thought that was really pretty. And I like the price, $2. It just doesn't make any sense, some of the pricing that they have at Goodwill. But um, I'm not going to complain for uh, the things that are a lot less expensive. You kind of make it up on the other end, right? Um, so I got this guy. This was $2. It's one of those you put the candle in and then you can um, go up and down with it to, uh, as it burns, you know, it, you can make it go up so the candle's up above the metal and it's got the little handle. It's very primitive metal um, and it's great for a vignette to stick in uh, something. Or you could take some greenery if you didn't have a candle and you could pop it down in there and um, that would look really nice too. Okay, and then I got this for $2, heart, Valentine's is coming. I'm not gonna decorate huge for Valentine's. I do some rusty stars with wire and things like that. And I do have a video on that. I'll link down in the description. Those are really cute. Um, but I'll put this in my booth and hopefully it will sell around Valentine's Day. I picked up this longer burger basket. I really like the colors. Those are my colors. And I think this will go well in my booth. This was $10, but again, it's longer burger. I looked it up. It's a 19, I'm sorry, 2008. So it's a little bit older and uh, it's worth definitely more than $10. So I'm going to probably pop that in my booth and do something with that. It does have a little stain on the inside, but I don't think that's going to hurt it too, too much. But we'll try it. The, the worst we can do is not sell it and then Shelly has to use it in her house. I mean, it's fine. It's all fine. It's all good. I got this really cool basket. I really love picking up nice, sturdy baskets like a Longa Burger. This is not, it's not signed anywhere, but it's very well made, very sturdy. Uh, and this was $4. So I really like how that is. Oops middle heart okay and of course I have to go through the metal section and um, I found this cool thing what is this this was four dollars thought this was really pretty it would be cute with a little couple little um, jars in it or salt and pepper shakers or napkins this could be a napkin holder it's definitely wide enough to hold napkins so very primitive got the star and the little handle I like that so got that and then here's another basket love the wire chicken wire baskets and the handles the wood handles my favorite my favorite things I love these and this one was four dollars so it's like a silvery color but I really like that it's very sturdy great to put your eggs in if you have chickens um, greenery you know it's great for any kind of decor uh, let's see, I picked this up, the Facithia. This can go in my booth for the spring. I think this is gonna be a nice pop of yellow. It was for only $4 for this. So I like the, um, the backing to it. And uh, yeah, it was really, really pretty. And there's not much wrong with it for $4. I thought it would be a great pop of color in my booth. All right, I got this bag of Reeves for, this was $6, but I got a bunch of them. So they're the little um, uh, uh, reeds. I can't think of what it's called right now, but they're just little reeds uh, wreath. So um, I've got one, two, three, four, five for $6. So, and they came with a little bow. Somebody must have used these like hanging on their, you know, cabinets or something or who knows. But I thought I could use, leave some uh, just like this, take the bow off, put a primitive bow or a homespun bow 
or something like that. I could also take greenery and stuff it in there and make little wreaths with that. These would be great uh, O's for like your home signs or anything with an O in it that you have a sign for. Okay, so the next thing that I got is this Hallmark Keepsake uh, Mary Baker's Ornament Display Stand for, I got it for $6. And I know Christmas is over, but anytime I pick up anything, um, I can store it away. And then I'll have a good boost for the holiday season to put stuff into my booth or on my Etsy shop to sell. On so the box, it shows ornaments and stuff uh, being hung on them. You take the Hallmark ornaments and hang them on them. And then I put it together to make sure I had all the pieces. So this is what it is. It's got all the little hooks and you just hang your little ornaments. And everything is here. I get the stand. It does have a little bit of a scratch right there, but nothing nothing crazy. I think I can get that out with maybe a, a magic eraser or something like that. But I like the little star on the top. It's almost like, um, I, I don't know if it's almost, it actually is, I think, one of those cookie cutters. So that's what it looks like to me. And maybe you could even... If you're short a star cookie cutter when you're making cookies, you could just pop that off and use it and then put it on. It's just, it does multiple things. <laughs> so anyway, I thought that was really cute and that's gonna be great for my booth or like I said, where, wherever I decide to put it. I just had to get up to go get this church that I got at Goodwill and I broke a sweat trying to get it off the floor. <laughs> I mean, this is real stuff, guys. Okay, anywho, uh, cute wooden church. Beautiful, I love churches. One of my Pinterest uh, pin pages is all churches, just beautiful old churches, I just love them. So I actually got two of these, $4 a piece. And they're just skinny little churches. They're just beautiful and they're both exactly the same. So I just grabbed one. I love the arched windows. Not sure what I'm gonna do with this. I may keep one of these for myself and put one in my booth or on my Etsy shop. Maybe some greenery in the middle or just uh, some little candles or something like uh, timer uh, battery candles or something like that. But I love the church. That's like my favorite find. Okay, what else do I have here? Let's do Hobby Lobby. Got some black and white gingham uh, wired ribbon. It was $9.99, I think I got it for like $3, $3, right around three and change. I got this plate. This was $12.99, but I think Again, I think I got it for $4 maybe, $4 and change. I can't remember, but I liked, this was the only one they had too. They just had this one left, but I just liked it and I could envision putting something in the middle. Um, so, and it was, it's already done. So I thought it was a good deal. And that's all I got besides my um, Mod Podge from Hobby Lobby. They had a lot of stuff, but nothing that I really wanted. And I'm trying to go through my Christmas as we speak, as I took my uh, tree down. So um, I'm just trying to get it all put away and I have to go through some of my other stuff and get rid of it. Uh, I used to decorate like crazy and do the above the cabinets and do like the entryways and everything, but I just don't have time for that anymore. Uh, so, Dump finds, got this really cool little tray with these really cute little ceramic things. This was a dump find and they're measuring cups. That's one cup, it's probably three quarters of a cup. They need to be cleaned and a couple of little pickets are loose. I don't remember which ones, but I need to maybe tighten those up or glue those up and clean everything. I may just leave it the way it is. It's great for, for the spring, like my booth or 
whatever I decide to do with it. But I thought it was so cute and I don't see any chips on the glass or anything on the ceramic. So I really like that. Okay, this guy, little cat, put a little candle there and it looks like he's kind of playing with the candle, which is scary, but uh, I wouldn't put a real one on there anyway, but yeah. So I just thought he was really cute. It's a little metal, metal guy. So very cute, dusty, very dusty, needs to be cleaned. I got this bag. It's still got the tag on it. Originally 36, it's an Amanda Smith, $36.26.99. And then free to me in the free shack. So um, it's a little dirty and it has some black spots here and there. I think it needs to be, I hate to, but I have to either spot clean or run it through the wash. And I don't really want to take the tags off, but I kind of have to. It comes with the little Amanda Smith little key fob or whatever it is there. Nice big canvas bag. Nice big. It's got a couple of um, pockets. Really nice pockets. It's got a detachable little makeup bag with a zipper. So all attached. So I really like this. I'm hoping I can just spot clean it and get some of these darker spots off. Um, and then sell it, probably. I love bags, I love canvas bags, big canvas bags. So I'm trying not to keep this, but it's white. I'll get it dirty and so, so quick. It's just, it won't work for me. Um, okay, again, free shack. A ball bearing echo rolling pin without the ends, but it's still got the sticker on it. Look at that. And it says it was $1.29. $1.29 originally from wherever these people bought it. But again, it doesn't have the ends, but that's okay. Because I could make this into decor. I probably could buy the ends and the little rod that goes down through there. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with this, but I couldn't just leave it there. It does have paint. So it would need to be probably <clears throat> sanded down and you know, if you're gonna actually use this for anything, but I just love it that it still had the sticker on it. So very cool. So I got that. This, somebody originally got it for a dollar somewhere. It's got the little sticker that may be, um, it's not Goodwill, but I'm not sure where. But anyway, it's a little Easter paddle, like a little wall paddle. And I'm gonna do something fun with this. I've been checking out Pinterest. There's something on Pinterest that I've seen that I wanna do use this paddle for. Um, I'm also going to probably, something yucky on it. Um, it's very sparkly, so I'm gonna have to sand it all down. But I think I'm probably going to make a template out of it so that I can make more of these if they go over well. And that way I'll have, you know, all the shapes and everything just right. Because when you try to draw it out yourself, it takes a while to get both sides exactly right and, and all that stuff and get your rounds really good. So I'll probably make a template and then I'll have it. But this one, I've like I said, Pinterest, I've seen something and I really like it. So it's, um, I think you guys will like it too when I get going on it. But I need to get going on it. I need to get to work. Uh, my husband and I eventually, I think that's everything. I think I've got shown you everything that I've picked up. Oh no, it isn't. Before I get started with my story, I have a story. Welcome to our coop. This was at the free shack as well. Looks like a little, little milk can. Got the little handles on the side. Got a hanger on the back. And it's got a cool, cute little rooster and a little, looks like a little faux spout on the front. It's probably like a, it could be like a little hook for your dog leashes or whatever. Um, it's a little bit dirty, dusty, so it really needs to be cleaned up. But I saw that and I was like, I love it. I have chickens, I'm trying not to keep that. I don't need everything chicken. Um, so my story is that I have, uh, I've been working in my dining room. Most of the time in the winter, I stay up here because of the heat. 
uh, I have a huge area down in the basement that I store a lot of my extra stuff and I have benches and all my things are down there. And so I'm hoping that we're going to be able to redo a section down in that area so I will be able to video down there. We'll have some really good light, um, make it nice and clean and usable. And I'll be able to do some videos down there and actually work down there in the summer uh, when it's warmer and I can like open the door and get some heat in and stuff. So we're hoping to do that and I will hopefully video that process. Not sure, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> so far it's not been working out well because I wanted to get some wall board and it has been raining for days ever since I decided to do that. Uh, and we can't pick it up in our truck because you know it can't get wet really or it would warp. So um, I'm trying to wait till it stops raining and right now it's kind of snowing. So uh, I don't think it knows what it wants to do. But anyway, with that story done and over with, I showed you all my things and my few little projects that I did today. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and have a good day.